All right, enough of that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Nathaniel here. Happy Sunday, everyone. Can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up in the comment section if you can hear me. And let's, whoa, I don't think I want that. All right. Yes. All right. So how's everyone doing today? I'm going to give it a couple minutes. I have zero people, zero people watching right now. So let's give it one sec. If not, then I'm just going to start talking and go over what I am doing to fight boredom. And uh, you're watching it right now, if you didn't notice already. Um, testing, testing. Yep. All right. So supposedly I have audio. Thanks, Deep Fried Deals. You're the man or woman. You're man. You're definitely a man. You rock. Thanks for tuning in again. It's good to see you. So today we're going to be talking about... How to stave off the boredom while you are doing this COVID-19 self-isolation kind of thing where you're limiting interaction with people around you so that way you're not getting them sick and you're also um, protecting yourself from possible uh, contamination or um, your possibility of contracting the coronavirus so while you're all out there staying safe and you know taking care of yourself i know it gets kind of old if you are sticking to the old news naps and netflix routine so we're going to get into it with a couple of things that i have found online to help you kind of fight off the boredom and the first one is going to be buzzfeed now these are like the top 20 quizzes you can do on BuzzFeed to take care of some of that dead time on there. I'm going to share the link there in the chat in case you want to bookmark it. So you know how BuzzFeed quizzes are. They're kind of utterly pointless, but sometimes it's interesting to see what you get. So you got some uh, what can you see these Disney characters? Um, I think it's kind of more of a red, green, colorblind sort of thing. Um, what combination of Twilight and Harry Potter character are you? You know, these are the things that matter in life. Haha, <laughs> yeah, virtual drinking session. That's awesome. I saw online that um, someone did a virtual Tinder date and the guy sent the girl. A bottle of wine so they could enjoy it while they were together online so <laughs> uh, people are coming up with some pretty creative ways to get around with uh, socializing and this is kind of my way as well I wanted to go online and see if there's an interest in doing this I had a good time on when was that Wednesday just getting on here and talking for about an hour and we had some good questions out there and I was able to answer them. So um, if you have questions about personal finance stuff as well, you know, I mean, every single day the uh, stock market is throwing us a curveball, And so there's always plenty to talk about. But we're going to get started with something fun and entertaining because if I can keep you sane while you are trying to fight off the coronavirus cabin fever then um yeah mission accomplished so i did get water so i'll be able to go for longer without feeling like my um my throat is the sahara or something so do you know as much as a ninth grader um chances are you're probably going to get thrown for a loop on that. So here's a sample question. How does Juliet die in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? And I've got to say it's been almost two decades now since I was in ninth grade. Let's see. I want to say it's poison. I don't know. I think it's poison. Anyways, um, so there are tons of these horrible buzzfeed quizzes that will just suck all the time out of you um so have a peruse at that um 
Like I said, you can only take so many naps in a given day. I know I took one, the sun was shining outside, so I decided to kind of nod off on my bench in the backyard and it was chilly and my neighbors were arguing about something. Um, something about, I would never work for you. And then the husband said, well, you're working for me right now, yeah. And then they laughed and then they started to fight. So it was good entertainment while I was trying to enjoy some sunshine and close my eyes. So um, if you ever wanted to know if you're a rich girl from the 90s, definitely applicable to someone. Yep. Um, so yeah, link is there. If you get bored, you can go ahead and get in on that. Uh, name and a iconic song here what is yours i'm interested in knowing right now out of these three songs i am going to say well hold on i, I want to hear i want to hear your thoughts at thoughts first all right you ready one two three the Middle by Jimmy Eat World, and I will say that because I think it was about ninth grade when that song came out, and um, it is still in my music rotation. I usually listen to it every couple weeks or so, so um, yeah. Ooh, break out the guitar and sing a song. I, maybe on the next one. I, I need to uh, probably tune my guitar before I was going to try to do something like that. So, um, yeah. Oh, sorry. You can't even see it because of my big head in this square. The Middle by Jimmy Eat World. That was the other, the other one. So, uh, oof. <laughs> no singing today. No singing. Not doing it. So if you get bored, I mean, there are tons of uh, quizzes out here. Definitely, uh, let's say it takes you five minutes per quiz, five times 20 something quizzes, that'll last you a good couple hours. So uh, that is the first cure for boredom on my list. The second one, and I'm, I'm actually going to show you the Reddit thread that um, a lot of people have been commenting on and sharing that kind of adds or puts everything you could possibly want to know about the coronavirus and how to get stuff for free, whether that is getting services through the IRS or through um, like um, banks and stuff like that. This link, and I'll go ahead and drop it in the live chat, is a pretty exhaustive list. Everything from emergency assistance to um, things for like donating. Uh, I know something right now is they need blood. So there is a national shortage of uh, blood and so if you are healthy and you are able to donate, you can actually go to giveblood.org and find your low, or your nearest blood donation center and donate blood right now. Um, so let's see here. Uh, dark noise, it is a um, free uh, background noises like think uh, one of those noise machines to help you drift off to sleep. Some people can't stand dead silence. I, I go back and forth sometimes. Sometimes I need like dead silence and sometimes it helps to have like a fan going or have the window open to just have a little bit of background noise to help you drift, drift to sleep. So that is available for you. Um, let's see here. There are a lot of free courses out there either for your children or for yourself um, who, and they will basically give you some uh, free learning at home stuff. They might be uh, like web webinars, they may be uh, downloadable material that you can print off. So um, also 
there was one in here. Let's see here. Okay, so um, if you have a library card or a library account somewhere, you can go to most of these websites, Overdrive, Standard Ebooks, Open Library, uh, Hoopla. I use Hoopla all the time for audiobooks. I can basically get new release audiobooks for free. I don't have to use any credits with Audible, which credits Audible, they are also um, making a lot of audiobooks available for free to people just for having an Amazon account. So if you are interested in doing some learning or maybe even uh, downloading a novel to listen to, that is an option for you as well. Obviously, I am not sponsored by Audible, but I do have an Audible account and I like them. So um, if you're looking for free stuff and you have an Amazon account, go ahead and check that out. Also, a whole list of streaming services for video. So you've got Canopy, and that is a, an exhaustive list of documentaries. Uh, Shutter, if you like horror movies. Uh, Slingbox, it's basically a online service that will give you basically a cable for a much lower price. Um, all the major sports in the US are offering free league passes so you can catch up on old uh, classic classic games. So if you wanted to watch Tom Brady's last ever game in a Patriots jersey, you could do that by going to NFL.com and signing up for the free league pass to watch that again because next season he will be a Tampa Bay Buccaneer, which is just crazy to me. I don't know if any of you follow football, but um, I think it's a good move. I mean, rather than retiring with the Patriots, he decided that he still got time to go. And so he decided to move on, give someone else the spotlight with the best franchise in the NFL, unfortunately. Unfortunately, they're the best. All right, so moving on. Um, you can get free trials with, let's see here. Let's open this one up. Oh, come on, Fast Company. Yep. Yep. All right. Am I the only one who gets annoyed by all the pop-ups? You got to, you know, set your cookies and then you have to accept and all of these crazy things that are just always in the way. Look, this thing popped up too. Give me a break. All right. So... If you're looking for some free trials, this is where you need to go, fastcompany.com. Adding that to the live stream as well. So you can try Amazon Prime Video for free for 30 days. Uh, Apple TV Plus, you can get a seven day free trial for that. You can get CBS All Access. For one week free, you can check out the new Twilight Zone reboot. I've seen a couple episodes and they're pretty legit. They're pretty, um, you know, surreal, which is what Twilight Zone was meant to be, right? Disney Plus, seven day free trial. Um, but if you have, if you're looking to switch to Verizon Fios, you can actually get Disney Plus for free for. 12 months. So enjoy all the Disney, Marvel, and Star Wars you can handle. Honestly, that's not for me because I can't handle much Disney at all. Not a fan of Marvel and Star Wars. Um, I like them, but I'm not going to watch all of them over again. It's just not my thing. All right, HBO Now, you can get a seven-day free trial so you can get up to date on Curbed, which I've seen a couple episodes. I enjoy it. I um, I wasn't sure about it originally, but I thought it was pretty funny, so I may have to get the hookup on that. 30-day free trial with Hulu. What are you booing, Steve? You booing my distaste for Disney? Yeah. 
deal with it. <laughs> Netflix. All right. So you get a 30 day free trial with Netflix. Um, so you can go and check that out right now. Obviously, Netflix is the goat. They are the original stream king. And I might be losing fans. I don't know. Um, that's fair. <clears throat> yeah, Deadpool. I saw the first one and it was funny, but it was almost a little too like on the nose, I guess. Um, didn't see the second one, so I may have to check that out. But overall, superhero movies are not my not my thing, really. Um, plus, there are just too many of them. Like they have taken over the movie space and it's hard to keep track of what uh, goes with what and who goes with who and which order you're supposed to watch them in it's it's just way too much too much for me so but hey whatever floats your boat right all right showtime showtime they have a seven day free trial for their streaming service um you can get Homeland, DeSus, and Mero. I've never even heard of that. Never heard of any of those except Homeland. I did watch Homeland. I highly recommend that series. Um, if you have Amazon Prime Video in the UK, because some of you are in the UK like me, uh, Homeland is on Amazon Prime Video. You don't need an additional streaming service for it. Uh, stars. You get seven days of stars, so you can binge watch, uh, binge watch Power and Outlander, which I've never heard of either of those. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Here in the UK, there are some UK uh, exclusive ones, BET Plus, so you can watch all of Tyler Perry's content. Uh, yada, 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 yada. Oh, DC Universe. Oh, man. Another comic book thing that I can't get behind. And WWE, one month free trial. All right, moving on. Back to the ultimate list here on the Reddit. Yes, I am definitely an always sunny in Philadelphia fan. Um, so I make lots of references to that show. I've seen it probably like 10 times all the way through all, what, 13, 14 seasons. And it never gets old to me. So uh, you caught me. Oh, and this is kind of a cool feature. So um, this Chrome extension will actually let you stream Netflix and synchronize it with your friends. This is a Chrome plugin. So you can all watch the show together with the comfort of your own home. You could do your webcam or Google. I don't know if they do Google Hangouts anymore. Skype, FaceTime, whatever. So you can watch your favorite show on Netflix together and uh, stay synchronized. So when <laughs> I've done it a couple times where I'm watching something and the person I'm watching it with will laugh and I'm not to that point yet. And I'm like, I don't get it. Why'd you laugh right there? Well, it's because it's not synchronized. So go check that out. Let's see here. Uh, Lowcast.org. Um, this one is actually a very cool feature as well. If you want to get public TV in the following, ooh, who do I relate more with? Well, gosh, that's a good question. I'm not 70 years old like Frank. Charlie likes a lot of cheese and weird uh, things hanging out behind or underneath the bridge. Dennis is a sociopath and Mac is very confused. I guess I'd have to go with Charlie. Charlie's fun. So, 
backtolowcast.org. You can watch all local broadcasting via this website. So if you want to get caught up on your hometown news and you've no longer got those bunny ears on top of your TV because that technology went away quite a while ago, you can go on here and you can actually watch public TV in any of these cities that are currently broadcasting. Pretty cool. I've not tried it out. I don't know what the quality is, but uh, if you are bored and you're looking for some uh, something different to watch, you know, I'm guessing PBS in Boston is a little different than PBS in Sioux Falls, Iowa, Iowa? South Dakota. Sioux Falls is it South Dakota. Yeah, that's South Dakota. Anyways, so go check that out, lowcast.org. And then we're moving on to video games. So my favorite free video game is Fortnite. So my daily routine right now is wake up, shower, breakfast, uh, watch some TV, lunch, YouTube, Fortnite, dinner, Fortnite, go to bed. So, uh, if you haven't played Fortnite, if it's not your thing, that's fine. There are some other really cool games out here. Like, let's go to Emulator. And you can basically play some classic games right here on your desktop. So, let's check out... Uh, Old school Mario. And I believe, oh no. Um, you can go in here and you can use your keyboard and you can actually play all of your favorites right here on your desktop. And it actually works on mobile as well, or some of them work on mobile, not all of them do. I tried playing, um, I tried playing Super Mario on my phone and it was, kind of glitchy but I was able to get Tetris to work so uh, those are available for you if you have I, I would say if you have a laptop or a desktop you could go in there and do that uh, there are some other games on here some that I've never heard of uh, MMOs massive multiplayer online uh, you can play Star Trek on there, so uh, that takes you to another Reddit thread. Um, media entertainment, so you can get free performance streams of the Met. Um, you can uh, watch the Marble Olympics. I haven't tried to open this one up. Let's see what this looks like. It's on YouTube. Oh, snap. I don't know if the video is coming through. I don't think it will. But basically, I'm going to turn this off so I don't get uh, content uh, copyright strike. Uh, so yeah, these are the marble races. So I guess they've just got different colors of marbles. And you uh, they set up these tracks. Looks like some of the tracks might be through, I don't know. Anyways, so go check that out if you're bored, you know. Um, you could also look up the, uh, oh, what's it called? The Doggy Super Bowl. That, or what was it? I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, the Puppy Bowl. This happens every year, um, and it's just a bunch of puppies playing on this field, and the referee is kind of there to control the chaos pretty fun pretty fun let's see here uh so if you're looking to do something that exercises your brain because a lot of what i've already mentioned is nothing like um actually learning something you can download duolingo for free if you're interested in learning a new language affinity i have affinity pulled up here and it's pretty cool so this is an alternative to Photoshop. I believe it's, um, you get a 90 day free trial. Um, so Photoshop, uh, the Adobe suite is pretty expensive. I think I'm paying 
10 bucks a month just for the very basic um, platform. Basically, it's like a um, Photoshop Lite and uh, a lo-fi video editor. So this is Affinity. Um, it looks actually really similar to Lightroom or to Photoshop. So if you're familiar with either of those, um, I think it'd be fairly intuitive. So if you look here on the left side, you've got your uh, details, brightness, contrast, saturation, all that. So um, also it looks like you can do filters like you were on Instagram doing stuff like that. So, um, so that's cool. That's obviously not a giant parrot. It could be. Uh, you can use RAW if you want, so you have even more control over the pixels. Uh, you can do some pretty cool stuff in here, so um, have a look at that. Let's go back to our list. Oh yeah, here's Hoopla. Um, so like I said, if you have a public library membership, which um, some libraries you can actually get them online if you don't already have one get in here you can watch movies you can download albums uh, ebooks like i said i use it for audiobooks and you really have a first class collection of uh, um, titles to go from and you have unlimited access for some of it um, i know you get like six I want to say you get six rentals or like audiobook downloads per month. So there is a limit, but um, with all of the other items out here, you should be able to find what you're looking for. So if you've not heard of Project Gutenberg, um, this may be of interest for you if you are into reading, especially the classics. Anything that is no longer under copyright law, you can find on Project Gutenberg. So if we go here to browse the catalog, oh gosh, you can even find them in other languages. So I, I just want English. Although if you download Duoli Duolingo and you learn a new language, then you can get a book in a new language that'd be pretty cool so let's just go to a so actually let's go let's find mark twain let's see if mark twain's on here there we go so you can look at that adventures of huckleberry finn tom sawyer prince and the pauper Innocence Abroad, Life on the Mississippi, A Dog's Tale. All of them are on here. You can just click on them and download the PDF, I believe. Yep, so you can uh, download it to your Kindle. You can uh, just read it on HTML, EPUBs. Um, so that's a resource for you if you are looking for free classics. All right, uh, you can get free classes through the YMCA. So you can um, basically, since most of the gyms in America, and I believe a lot of them here in the UK as well, are closed because you know you don't want people close together working out because that's how you spread germs. So you can get exercise classes for free online so you've got boot camp, bar, yoga, and some low impact programs. Um, also JSTOR, if you don't know what JSTOR is, that means you've probably been out of the college game for a while. But JSTOR is a huge database and it is full of articles, um, research, and yada yada, or yada yada yada. Seinfeld. So um, yeah, if, if you're feeling inquisitive, you can just go in there and search for anything and see what comes up. 
uh, free down dog yoga on their app. So if you're into yoga, Planet Fitness is also doing workout routines on YouTube. Uh, Peloton, I don't know about this one because I thought the machine was a key part of it. So I don't know why they give you 90 days free if you don't have the bike, but I could be wrong. Uh, if you're feeling musical, you can download Mini Moog, which is just a synthesizer. I believe you can get it on your phone as well. So if you feel like just cranking out some melodies on your phone or on your desktop, playing around with the synthesizer that is available to you. Uh, let's see here. Puzzles, coloring page pages, online courses, more online courses. So there really is a lot of stuff you can do with your time if you decided to um, make the most of it while you're staying at home. I know some of us still have to work. I am still going to work for the meantime or in the meantime. And even if I'm home, I have remote access to my files and all of my stuff that I need to work. So I don't foresee myself having a lot of time to do this, but if you do, then take advantage of it. So this is uh, billboard.com they have compiled a list of virtual concerts and live streams to take advantage of while every or while the world is on lockdown so um yeah so there is a lot in here you can go through it all um cheryl crow miley cyrus bunch of people I've never heard of. I'm apparently not in the loop when it comes to music anymore. Rob Thomas. I know Rob Thomas. Anyways, so if you're looking for some free free content to watch, you can check that out as well. That was on the Reddit list. Um, so this is a list of virtual tours that are available to the public for free. So Museum of Modern Art, the Musée de Orsay, I don't know how you say that. Ooh, that's a good question. So the question was, so we'll get to this arts and culture here in a sec. If I was to take a free online course, which would be skills you recommend I tackle first? That is an excellent question, and it really depends on what you are interested in learning, I would say. So if you could pop that into the comments, I would be interested in what what's the business world looking for new skills? Uh, well, that, that helps. Um, I would say a big thing that I've been focused on, on recently is emotional intelligence. And um, essentially what that means is you are trying to um, understand what, what makes people tick, more or less. Um, so people see every situation in a different light. Someone may take something personally that was not meant to be uh, offensive in any way or not, maybe not even meant to be um, like taken in that context. And so being able to read someone and understand why they feel how they feel or how their emotions play into their decision making um, and then being able to be accommodating of um, those people that is very, very important. And that, especially if you are working around other people, is a critical skill that I could definitely see um, everyone learning more about and um, really taking advantage of. Now, there is a class online that I've taken that kind of plays into that. And it also... Um, it goes into social psychology 
And let me pull it up really quick because I, I have it downloaded in an app and I can't remember which app it's in. It's in Coursera. Okay, so I will go over here. So this is another great resource for people. So Coursera is a, an online learning space. I'll just say that. Uh, basically, uh, there are webinars and um, even like entire courses that are in here. So for me, I took this class on social psychology. It was an eight week course or eight week or nine week course. And it's actually through Wesleyan University. So what you can do with some of these uh, courses that you take, uh, they are free or uh, most of them are free. But if you wanted to get a professional certificate out of it, you can pay a fee. So at the end of that course, if you completed everything and you passed it, you would get a professional certificate for completing it. And that professional certificate can go toward your resume or um, your office, your office space may actually, um, or not office space, your uh, employer may actually give you um, like CEU credits, so continuing education units. Uh, they may give you a, uh, like a, a bonus or something for completing a professional certificate. So that's worth looking into. Um, so if you look just right here, it says uh, the course includes more than $1,000 of video and reading materials. So uh, Scott Plaus, he was actually pretty entertaining. Uh, he had a lot of good information to share he would do almost like this, like it'd be like a Skype session. He would uh, talk about the topic and then there would be tons of supporting material. There were uh, PDFs that were pulled from textbooks that you can read. There were quizzes. Um, there were also uh, discussions that you had to do with other students. So you would go in there and you would uh, continue the discussion with your, form, uh, with your classmates. Um, so, this was some of what it went over. So social perception and misperception, the psychology of self-presentation and persuasion, obedience, conformity, and de-individuation, group behavior, uh, helping, hurting, and peace, peacemaking. So, um, like understanding the roots of what makes people um, do. Oh, so it was seven weeks. Uh, makes people do what they do. So there was a lot of um, interesting content that um, really makes you wonder what people are thinking. Uh, one of the entertaining ones was there were, it was supposed to be a focus group and uh, the um, the person who was facilitating this focus group would ask like, what is four plus one? And so it was a group of eight or 10 people and all but one person was a paid actor. So they all gave an incorrect answer and it was, it was very basic stuff. Like what is four plus one? Four plus one is five but they were saying three or four. And the one person who was not in on the, um, the scheme, the, the person they're actually testing, more times than not would go with the group because they were afraid of being the one person out. So all of us think, that would never happen to me. Like, you know, like that's, that's really dumb. I would see it for what it's worth. But it, through that um, study, they found that a lot of people will just go with the flow because they don't want to be singled out as a, an individual because, you know, you'd rather go with the group than be the odd man out. So 
kind of interesting. Um, it was a, a seven week course. Uh, I enjoyed taking the class. Um, but going back here to Coursera, Coursera has so many different topics to go from. So let's just click here to explore all. You can actually go through some, um, some universities are actually hosting their degrees on this platform now. So University of Illinois, University of Michigan, uh, CU Boulder, a lot of a lot of stuff that doesn't really require in class work. Um, you can get a global MBA. Um, you know things that don't require you to go to class and interact with people or present a physical product. You can go in here, uh, like an MSc in machine learning. Pretty cool. Uh, so here are some trending courses, and I believe most of these are free. So you've got a science of well-being by Yale it's a 20-hour course uh, talking about COVID-19 machine learning through Stanford that is a 56-hour course uh, if English isn't your first language you could uh, or if you just need to uh, brush up on some of those core skills University of Pennsylvania has a course for you Python, if you're looking to do some uh, coding. So there's all types of stuff in here. Um, and I believe you can further break it down by, there you go, here's a good one. Learning how to learn powerful mental tools to help your something, to help you master tough subjects. So this is a free course that helps you be more efficient at learning. Uh, learning techniques, um, test prep, meta-learning, stuff like that. It's a 12-hour course. It's completely free. Um, so have a look at that. The Art of the Deal, <laughs> Successful Negotiation. So uh, strategies to being a, a negotiator, I guess. How to Interpret Photographs, Museum of Modern Art. Ooh, cryptography, interesting. So there's there's a lot of good stuff in here, um, a lot of interesting stuff. Um, one that I actually wanted to look up, Power BI. This one's for you, Steve. Data analysis and presentation. Whoa. MySQL. Um, learning Power BI in Russian. If if uh, learning it in English isn't hard enough for you, big data. Um, which that's something that we've talked about a lot. You know, like especially me personally, I am in public affairs. And so we do a lot of uh, looking at metrics for social media, for web. And it's like, how how do you actually turn that into a, how do you turn quantitative measures into a qualitative system of data? And um, so I may actually look at this class just to you know, it's it's one of those existential questions because just because you reached a thousand people or um, a video of yours, like for instance, me being on YouTube, a video got 500 views, but what does that really mean? Does that mean I um, actually made positive impressions for 500 people or does that mean something else? So, um, so that's something that I am always trying to learn more about. And uh, so anyways, Coursera.org, check it out. See what is good, what is pertinent to you. Um, other business skills, I would say. So um, that social psychology course is great. Uh, Emotional Intelligence 2.0 is a book out there that, um, that I've read that is really good. Also, Crucial Conversations is another good one, um, essentially taking yourself out of a 
conversation and kind of giving yourself a top-down view like if you're looking over it and you're trying to see it from another person's standpoint um, the person you're talking to maybe it a um, like you got to fire someone or you have to do something difficult that they're not gonna um, really comply with or be happy about how do you see it from their perspective to understand them and um, yeah so crucial conversations All right, so those were the quizzes. We already saw the quizzes. Um, here you go, totallythebomb.com. 33 national park tours that you can take from your home. So, um, oh gosh, that's beautiful. So you can check out Yellowstone, Acadia National Park, Arches in Utah, the Badlands, oh man, that that's beautiful. I think my brother and I are going to try to go to the Badlands here in the next few months whenever this uh, COVID-19 stuff settles down and I can actually move back to the United States. Uh, Canyonlands National Park, the Channel Islands, Death Valley, Denali, Dry Tortugas, Glacier National Park, Grand Canyon, Grand Teton. Oh, look at that. It's incredible. I need to get back into the photography business. Like, just become a travel photographer. That'd be awesome. Joshua Tree, Mesa Verde in Colorado, Redwood, California, Rocky Mountain National Park, Pristine, Sequoia, Virgin Islands, Wind Cave, Yellowstone. So you can do virtual tours of all of these places. Um, you can go in there and select kind of the the main sites and go check those out. So I'll drop that into the live chat as well. Bada bing, bada boom. So like I said, uh, you're going to have a hard time getting totally bored at home if you are just using the Google machine and finding things that interest you. So back to this one, uh, I don't know how I got off the topic with this one. I think it is because we went to Coursera. Anyways, so you can do virtual tours of all of these museums as well. The National, Gar uh, National Gallery of Art, uh, you can check out the Rick's Museum in the Netherlands. Very cool. You can go to the Museum of Art in New York. So I'll drop this in the old live chat as well. So, I mean, this list is pretty exhaustive. You know, these are world renowned museums and galleries and you can check all of them out just click on them and they may ask for an email address but i mean to be able to see art throughout history from the comfort of your house that's pretty cool all right let's see here uh you can also do virtual tours of the great wall of china cincinnati zoo they do home safaris live on their Facebook Facebook page at 3 p.m. every weekday. So um, 3 p.m. Eastern, I believe, since Cincinnati's Eastern time. So you can check that out. Houston Zoo and San, Anto or San Diego Zoo both have webcams as well. Um, so yeah, that that's a pretty... That's a lot of stuff for you to check out. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so if you are still bored after me giving you all these links, I don't know if I can really help you. Here you go, you can learn karate online. I mean, that's as good as it gets. Um, so something else, if, if you are still bored, it is time to pick up a hobby. And whether that's playing the guitar, that is writing a book, which I need to be working on as well, because that's one of my New Year's resolutions. 
uh, doing a tutorial on YouTube. What else? Doing some spring cleaning. It is technically spring now, so uh, getting rid of all the old stuff and doing a deep clean in your house. I also need to do that, but since I'm working, I need to um, continue to uh, do that. Yep. But you know what? If if you can't think of something to do um, inside your house, leave a comment and I will help you find something to be passionate about. There's no sense in just sitting around and watching Netflix all day. You can be more productive than that. You can uh, definitely do something fulfilling. If you have not checked out my video on top side hustles, maybe that's an option for you. Let me go to that link because I will drop that in there too. So if you are basically sitting home with nothing to do because you are on quarantine or you are self-isolated, then you might as well make some money doing something else, right? So it is in here somewhere. Quick cash. Top side hustles for everyone. Let's click on that. Got the link. All right. I don't want to hear myself. Let's see here. There we go. That is in the live chat. Let me, oh gosh, I got the comments on there. Let me fix that really quick. There we go. Mother's Day today in the UK. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there in the UK. So uh, any questions you have for me, I would love to answer them right now. Thanks for the discussion, everyone. This has been fun. Hopefully you found something that was good for you. Maybe help you fight off that cabin fever a little bit. I know that this has been a fun hour for me. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm probably going to have to, I don't know, eat dinner. I think I'll, I'll probably have dinner. Yep, yep. Uh, so if there is, oh, I had something else for you all. Hmm. Oh, yeah, so... If you're ever interested in learning about the stock market, marketwatch.com is the place to go. I spend probably an hour a day on here reading the top news, uh, getting info on the coronavirus worldwide and how it is affecting companies, which companies are working on it, and um, some other stuff in here. Uh, there's a lot of good info in the marketwatch.com area. Um, also, it breaks it down by some of these top stocks that are really in the news a lot. So uh, we've talked about Walmart. We've talked about Apple. We've talked about Tesla. We've talked about Carnival. Uh, FedEx recently got a boost because of their uh, shipments or they're uh, now working in and out of China again. Hold on, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, gosh. So I believe that was the latest news. Uh, yeah, so they started doing their deliveries to and from China again. So they are kind of seeing a little bit of a, a boost in their stock over the last few days. Uh, but there is a lot of doom and gloom on here, not going to lie. Um, so right now the Dow is on track to have the worst month since the Great Recession. We're talking about that one 100 years ago, give or take. So pretty big deal. Um, but with that being said, there's no reason to freak out. Everyone's freaking out about the stock market. 
but if you have money that's already in there, because, well, I mean, let's be honest, that is what I talk about most on YouTube is personal finances and investing. So if you have money that's already in there, don't touch it. Those stocks, those shares that you already have are still worth something because you are buying into a company. So you own shares in a company and eventually that company will likely rebound, especially if it's one uh, if it's a company within the S&P 500. But more importantly, as we're dealing with this recession, get money into the market. Now is the time to buy low and you will see that money grow exponentially as we get out of this. And uh, within, I don't know, it, it may take two or three years to get back to where we were today or you know, like a month and a half ago. But the money that you get in now is going to definitely play a role in your retirement in the future. So um, go ahead and keep investing right now. If you're not aware of what an index fund is or what an ETF that tracks an index fund is, check out my YouTube channel and see what is good in there because I've talked about a lot of this in the recent past, recent being within the last three, four months because this channel is only five, six months old as it is. So uh, any stock market games or learning sites where we can learn more about how to invest? Absolutely. So um, if you have not downloaded the Webull app, W-E-B-U-L-L, I talked about it in my last video, and Webull essentially is a online brokerage that provides um, free trading. I will say that, it's free trading. Anyways, once you go in there and you have, um, have an account, you can do paper trading. So paper trading is essentially, they give you $100,000 of money and you can invest it and make bold trade decisions and all that and see how you come out. So it's not, it's not real money at all. It is just for, um, it's just for practice. Also, if you go to, um, MarketWatch actually. So let me go into MarketWatch and I'm gonna go down here to games. And then you can go in here and you can find a game or you can create a game. Now, if anyone's interested in having a little competition here, um, I would not be opposed to setting up a market watch game and we can all start off with a set amount of money and see who comes off at the top when uh when it comes down to it um that could be actually really fun um so if there's interest in that i can set it up and we can we can all try to uh invest together and see who is a better investor on paper now ultimately it comes to, comes down to that money and um, any practice you get right now will impact you in the future because it, whether you are looking for wealth or you are working on um, you know, getting money for retirement, the stock market is the place to do it. So if you know this or not, or whether you know this or not, if you are investing money there is basically a couple of different ways you can do it. If you have, um, sorry, hold on, let me let me pull up my comments again. I accidentally got out of it. Okay. So, regardless of whether you use a four hundred one k, a thrift savings plan, or you are using um, the stock market to prepare for retirement all of those accounts are using the stock market. So the only difference is a 401k and the TSP are 
letting someone manage that money for you. So something that I wanted to do was learn how to do trading on my own to prepare uh, for retirement as well. So before, yeah, before this whole uh, stock market debacle has unfolded, um, I had about $30,000 in a Roth IRA that I had invested in shares. So I had uh, S&P 500 companies and some uh, other dividend stocks that I was tracking um, or invested in. And I still have those. They've just uh, since gone down in value by 70% or something like that. So my $30,000 in the market now looks like $13,000, I think. But I also have the thrift savings plan through the US government. And so I am always, always, always contributing to that every single month. And that money I just put in there and I don't have to worry about its performance. I don't need to worry about buying or selling it. It is just in there and it is managed by the fund. And the other stocks that I am playing with, I will put money in when I have it. When I have extra laying around, I will. I can put up to, uh, what is it, 6,500 in a Roth IRA so I can still you know, make income for my retirement, but I'm not as concerned with it because it is a much lower amount or smaller amount than my TSP. So what I'm trying to say is your retirement still requires you to know how the stock market is working. And even though you may not have much involvement in it, it never hurts to learn. And uh, something that really got me interested in this is dividend stocks. And basically dividend stocks are the stocks that um, the company will give out a set amount of money per share to the shareholders on a monthly, quarterly, or annual basis, pretty much. And so what they do is they give the shareholders a part of the earnings for that set period. So let's say um, I have Apple Apple stocks. Um, Apple, because I have 100 shares of Apple, let's say they give a um, dollar per share per quarter. I, I could look up their actual numbers, but this is just an example. So because I have 100 shares of Apple, which 500 shares of Apple, I'm doing pretty good. That's, uh, I don't know, of like 160,000 right now, I think, right? 100 times 100, yeah. Anyways, so if they give a dollar per share that you own every quarter, that quarter I'm making 100 bucks because I am sharing in their earnings. So that is something that you get out of individual stocks and some ETFs will do that as well where they will give you a monthly dividend based on all the companies they have invested in. So that's one of the perks of having money in the stock market is you can get some of this uh, additional money by sharing in the earnings of those companies. So food for thought. Anyways, um, I will look into getting this market watch thing up and running. I will, um, I will create the game and I will put it in my bio on this channel and we can have a little bit of fun and see who makes the most cash. We'll do it for uh, six months. Let's do a six month game, free for everyone. If you wanna invite your friends and say, hey, this guy is uh, doing a free stock market game and he talks about investing, so maybe we can learn something, then let's do it. So if you have not already liked this video, please do so. Um, that helps the channel out a lot. Thanks to all of you who have asked questions and who have tuned in for this 
chat live stream. Um, happy Sunday to all of you. I appreciate all of you tuning in. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And um, this week I'm gonna get back to doing some normal content. But if you like this live stream format, please let me know in the comments. I like doing it because it's uh, it's definitely pretty interesting. I kind of jazzed up the screen a little bit. I got uh, a border and kind of created a, a little graphic or something on here uh, just to jazz it up a little bit. I realized the last one I did was very plain and I'll probably do some more tweaking uh, this week. Uh, so let me know if you enjoyed this. Uh, with that said, I am going to hit the off button, stop streaming. I appreciate all of you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.